Hey everyone, Damien to the Vich here from the Entity Minute Talk once more. Bring you a 2 vs 2 Dawnwall Soulstorm replay on the Doom Spiral map. So, according to the uh, person who uploaded this, uh, they apparently were drunk while playing this game, so. Should be <laughs> an interesting game, hopefully. So, yeah, just having a look at the um, players that we have. We've got uh, Maroon XP as the Elder, and teamed up with him is Hart Vanya as the uh, Necrons. On the bottom left, we've got uh, Bodia. Flipper, if, or Borgia Flipper, however you want to pronounce it, as the Chaos player, and teamed up with him is Pisa Kraneos as the uh, Imperial Guard, and now they're talking in boxes. Hopefully not in metal boxes, though. but anyway. <laughs> so yeah, just having a look at the opening builds, uh, looks like Maroon's going for a couple of Guardian squads, and for some reason he's deciding to put the Aspect Portal right next to the Necron. Ah, oh, actually no, that doesn't, no. That still doesn't make too much sense, really, why they'd put it right next to the Necron player's base, so... Huh, now they're t talking a different language. Oh, well. Anyway, it looks like he's starting off with Dark Reapers. Yeah, looks like the uh, Necron player's going for some relatively early Necron Warriors and a Necron Lord. Success. Yeah, so Chaos player, he's not doing too much for some reason. Success. What if he's going for a uh, tier, f uh, yeah, tier 2 upgrade, maybe? Yeah, it's possible, I suppose. And yeah, still talking to each other in boxes, and... What the... Oh, there it is. Wondering if he even built an infantry command, at least he did that. And yeah, he's got the command squad out for some reason, I'm not upgrading them, so... A rather strange game, to say the least. And we got the first squad of Dark Reapers out. And yeah, we've got a second squad coming out for Heart Vanya. Ah, oh, sorry, not for Heart Vanya, for um, Maroon. We'll just call him, yeah, the Elder player, really. So he's built a webway gate pretty early on, just to... I don't know, just to increase the squad cap, I suppose, because it doesn't seem to be much point to having just one and not having a second one in it as base, for example, but, uh, huh. very strange indeed. So yeah, it looks like they'll be looking to attack, um, from the, uh, north e northeastern, um, approach. Well, from the northeast, I suppose. And that's going to leave the Elder player's base pretty undefended, though, so, but it looks like, yeah, Everyone's sending their units to this pass, so... I huh, don't know if maybe they agreed to that beforehand. It just seems very strange to do, really. But, um, what the hell? Looks like we'll be seeing our first engagement of the day. We've got uh, Necron Warriors walking ahead of the uh, Dark Creeper. Certainly a very smart move by the uh, Necron player to do that. Because, yeah, I mean, you don't need one Dark Creepers to be absorbing the uh, brunt of the attack. And, of course, we've got a couple of... Uh, Guys in the command squad doing some destruction. Looks like they're going straight for the Necron Warrior squad instead of for the Dark Reapers. I'm not entirely sure if I agree with that. But what the hell, I might be able to make it work in any case. And we've got a summoning call with early disruption field for the Necron player, even. Very early disruption field, in fact. And Elder player's got a couple of Guardian squads at his base. Nothing too much happening at the Pure Guard's base. Nothing much happening at the Chaos player's base. So we'll go back to the. Uh so we'll go back to the uh, battle that's at hand. So your command squad's going to have a pretty hard time doing any damage though. I mean, as you can see, these uh, Dark Reavers can run pretty quickly. So they just need to, well, look with the fleet of foot research, of course. And they should be able to take out the command squad. Oh, what do you know? Managed to get a priest just in the nick of time. So unfortunately, the main guy's gone down. Now it's just the uh, single priest remaining. So it's a little bit of disruption, <laughs> quite a bit of disruption actually to those scarabs. I don't think it's going to make too much difference. And what do you know? Actually, um, at this point, get decapped. Oh no! It's, oh yeah, it's decapped there by the Necron player. And what are you saying? I'm not sure what he's referring to, but anyway, should have a uh, Gorse Threat being built soon, and that should be able to hold off <coughs> the combined assault by the uh, Necron player and the. Uh, oh, not sorry, sorry, not Necron player. The um, Chaos player and the Imperial Guard player. And it looks like the Necron Lord has actually fallen. Which is not so good given that the Chaos Lord is uh, still at full health for the Chaos player, so he'll be able to do part, quite a bit of damage. In fact, uh, never mind, he's going to be forced back, so... Yeah, doing a little bit of damage to the infrastructure of the Necron player. And looks like Necron player is starting to go for a Wraith. Some plasma generator thing, yeah, just usual stuff being built for the uh, Elder player. So I'm surprised that his base hasn't been attacked yet. I mean... All we need to, need, need to do... Or rather, should I say, all the uh, bottom left here, what you have to do is just uh, pull back their troops, or rather, maybe just um, do a single attack, force the uh, 
Dark Reapers and the Necron Warriors back for the uh, top right team and then maybe just pull back and then yeah, try to quit as quickly as possible, go to the Elder Players base to uh, do as much damage as possible. But what the hell is not going to do that? And what do you know, I've actually got grenade launchers being used for the Imperial Guardsmen, so not such a bad choice really given that we're seeing mostly a ranged fight really between the uh, armies of both teams actually. But who knows, they might change though. Here we go, we've got the first ra Wraith out. I should get a, get a couple more Wraiths coming out as well for the uh, Necron player. And yeah, we've got the uh, Elder player going to tier 2 at the same time though. Once again, the bottom team is starting to make a bit of a headway, but yeah, they're going to run into a bit of resistance with that Gorse Turret, just doing a, quite a bit of damage with each uh, little zap of its... Uh, little, uh, I don't know. So it's a uh, Gorse weapon, whatever it's meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, Chaos Lord is now almost down to half health actually, so if Borgia is not careful enough, he might actually lose it. So yeah, he's going straight into melee against the Gorse Turret. Should be able to take it out relatively quickly, although it looks like he's actually going to send him back. I thought he might, might be better off just attaching him to this squad actually. So yeah, it looks like um, top right team might be in a bit of trouble actually, so playing the game drunk doesn't seem to have uh, helped him that much to say the least. Even though, wow. Certainly are going to be uh, trying to build various things there, and yeah, just forcing back the Elder player. Uh, what do you know, the um, that's kind of funny, Soul Shrine has been built. But funnily enough, it's actually now on the path of attack for the bottom left team, so it might actually end up getting destroyed along with this aspect portal. So I don't know why they've kept the um, Guardian squad back there, I mean, they could at least send them to try to do a bit of damage. Uh, you know, at least to provide some supporting fire, but um, nope, that's not going to happen. Interestingly enough though, this game is not even half over yet, so I'm presuming that this um, pretty massive force of Chaos Space Marines and uh, Imperial Guardsmen will get repulsed, although it's kind of hard to see that happening though, I mean, I'm sure the uh, Elder players are starting to gather up forces and everything, but as you can see the uh, Chaos player and the uh, Imperial Guard player just doing quite a bit of damage to the Necron player's base, and it'll be rather hard to recover from uh, all that economic damage being done, especially since um, as you can see at the bottom left, none of the uh, bases are being harassed or anything like that. So, And what do you know, we find we have a pure guard player actually sending a couple of the guardsmen up from the south. That's not doing too much for them, so we'll just ignore them for the time being. And yeah, it looks like now we're seeing a bit of a... S oh, okay, so that's just the command squad. Deciding to... Uh, huh, just Anyway, just deciding to do some harassment to these buildings. And looks like they're actually going straight for the monolith. Ah, there we go, now they're going for the Plasma Generator. Probably be better off just going for the Plasma Generators than these other ancillary builds, because really the Necron Monolith is... Okay. Slightly more. In any case, it's got quite a bit of uh, HP compared to the other buildings, and yeah, it's got some um, heavy high uh, building armor, which basically means it takes less damage usually as well, so... I mean, in the time that the uh, Chaos player and the Imperial Guard player were shooting at it, they could have uh, easily have taken out maybe a couple of plasma generators, possibly even the uh, the uh, tier 2 building... Yeah, the Soul Shrine of the, of the uh, Elder player, but um, no, what can you do? He didn't though. Or uh, rather, the um, Nether player didn't. And what do you know, we might actually be seeing a uh, bit of a counter-attack here by the uh, Elder player. So he's actually gone for Falcon Grab Tank, so he's got a vehicle plant up, and he's actually upgraded it to use a Star Cannon. What do you know, they're still trying to do damage to the Necron Monolith. Well, might be able to take it down, but I, I doubt it though. They should have just gone for the uh, infrastructure instead. Because really, I mean, damaging the monolith is fine at all, but if, if they don't destroy it, then uh, it's not exactly going to have any effect on the Necron player. In any case, they did manage to do some damage to the um, power plants around the base, so now they're finally going for the power plants. Although, what do you know, the Wraith is... Uh, wait, oh, this thing's going to tier 2. The Wraith is actually doing quite a bit of damage... Ouch! <laughs> ...to the uh, Imperial Guard squad as you can see, but yeah, finally got taken out. And there goes one plasma generator. I'm surprised it's not going for any more, actually. And what do you know, we're actually seeing a combination of plasma gr uh, yeah, plasma guns and grenade launchers for the uh, pure guard player. But what do you know? Getting tr beaten back after all that. See, elder player just um, going for a pretty uh, good choice of vehicles, actually, especially since it's... Um, but Especially since uh, nobody's got any anti-vehicle units, which is 
Not surprising. I wonder if the Chaos player is even at tier 2. It's kind of hard to tell because he doesn't have any other buildings out. Although the very least the Imperial Guard players are tier 2. So all he needs to do is just bring out a couple of Sentinels and what do you know is bring out, finally bring one out right now. And his Falcon Grav Tanks, since they've replaced their anti vehicle weapons with a Star Cannon. Oh, there we go, here's, here's one Sentinel. Since they replaced the weapon here, they should have a much harder time going for Sentinels. And there goes the Chaos Slots. So there we go, things are starting to turn around actually for the uh, top right team. Wow, this Falcon Grav Tanks, they can actually take quite a few hits. Although, yeah, just notice that the Sentinel actually changed its uh, target and priority, and down it goes. So, unfortunately, it looks like it tried to do a bit of damage to both. Uh, Falcon grab tanks, and it didn't manage to destroy either one, so... Yeah, I'd say the, uh, Bottom left team should be watching for their target priority there, really. And what do you know, I've actually got the Necron player building a second monolith, of going to tier two, two... Sorry, it's going to tier two on that monolith, strangely enough, instead of this monolith, seems to have cancelled that. So an interesting... Oh, wait a minute, unless... Huh. Oh, actually, maybe it is at tier two, it's kind of hard to tell. Huh. Well, in either case, um, yeah, it looks like we got a bit of an attack by the top right team. Finally, on the Chaos Players base, and it's just seeing he seems to have stayed at tier one because he doesn't seem to bring anything more advanced out. So it's a good thing the um, pure guard player was at uh, tier two in that case. Because yeah, now we've got fire dragons and such being deployed. Yep, it looks like the Chaos Players going to have a bit of a hard time defending against this with just uh, Chaos. Space Marines, especially with no armory or anything even being built, which is rather surprising actually. Just gone for a massive like our Space Marines. Yep, he's got, um, wait a minute. No, he's not at um, tier 3 at the very least. But yeah, I don't think he's even at tier 2. So, yep, I'd say these uh, Chaos Space Marines are going to get massacred pretty quickly. And what do you know, the uh, El Elder player is even bringing out some Fire Dragons. Just uh, He's feeling that cocky, I suppose. Because normally they wouldn't be good against troops, but. Uh, Really, when you have this amount of firepower being focused on the unupgraded Chaos Space Marines, I mean, they're not going to last very long anyway, so you might as well bring everything you can against them. But, you know, we've actually got a combination of a Hellhound and a Sentinel being deployed. Unfortunately, neither is going to last very long with the uh, Fire Dragons being deployed there, so... Maybe the Chaos play could have helped by, um, I don't know, sending out some, I don't know, some Raptors, perhaps. Uh, basically, the uh, jump troops um, of the uh, Chaos play just to go into melee with the against these fire dragons to stop them from doing that ridiculous amount of uh, anti-vehicle damage, but what can you do? Apparently it's not going to happen, and yeah, now the uh, bottom left team is certainly in quite a bit of trouble, actually. Just trying to see if they're doing anything, not doing too much at their uh, Imperial Guards base, and in fact it looks like um, the Chaos Space Room player probably won't be able to rebuild his base, although... Oh, never mind. Okay, well, he was sending a builder out, but it eventually got spotted <laughs> as well as the second one, and yeah, got... Uh, taken out, so yeah, I'd say the bottom left team probably won't be able to do too much at this stage. Just seeing this HQ building slowly getting destroyed. So there you go, even with that amount of firepower, it still takes a bit of a while to destroy the HQ building, which makes it all the more puzzling that um, you'd use unupgraded Chaos Space Marines and such <laughs> on the uh, HQ building of all things. But what the hell. So yeah, it looks like Chaos Player has been Terminated and Elder, oh sorry, the Elder, the um, Pure Guard player is not even upgrading his uh, Guardsmen, so we're not going to see too much of a last ditch battle or anything like that unless well, he's getting upgrades for them. I suppose we could just see the game from his perspective for what it matters. Here we go. So he's actually got quite a bit of power saved up and a bit of requisition, so he could go for more vehicles and such. Um, he would just need something to disrupt those uh, fire dragons, so. Building a couple of priests, I suppose that would uh, do alright with the fanaticism ability, but the problem is he's still at tier 2 though, so I just don't see how he's going to be able to make too much of a difference. And he's going for plasma guns actually with those uh, Imperial Guardsmen. I don't, don't know if I really agree with that, given that he's basically going up against a uh, pure ranged force actually. Yes, yeah, so looks like yeah, he's just going for a couple of priests and he'll be going for a Psychos soon. Might just fast forward actually, because there's not too much happening at the moment. And yeah, I don't think the Imperial um, Guard player is going to be able to hold off a combined assault by two players. But you never know, you never know. He might do... Well actually no, there's nothing really I can think of that he can even do. I mean, he's now got too little re requisition to use even to build a vehicle or anything like that. And uh, even though he's got little guys running around like it's a Benny Hill uh, 
skits, I suppose. And yeah, here we go. Here comes the first attack. Funnily enough, actually being initiated by the uh, Elder player. So, he has managed to build a pretty sizable squad of uh, Guardsmen, I suppose, but I don't think it's going to make too much difference. Actually, now that I think of it, if maybe if he upgraded all of them... Yeah, he did up upgrade all of them to Plaza Guns. He might... Maybe he might have been able to take out this Falcon Grab Tanks, because they do have light vehicle armor. And the uh, Plasma Guns, they're not too shabby against vehicles. Well, especially light vehicles. But, fortunately, it's not going to happen. And it looks like the Imperial Guard player actually doesn't even have a Commissar anywhere, so he won't be able to restore the... Uh, <laughs> not bad, he won't be able to restore the um, morale of those troops very easily. So, yeah, it yeah, looks like he's just going to get taken out. Surprisingly enough, looks like the Necro player is not actually helping much in the attack, but... Well, I guess he doesn't really need to, so I suppose we'll be seeing a bit of a last ditch attempt by the uh, Pure Guard player after all. And here we go, here come the uh, Necron troops finally. Tomb Spider looks like yep, it's going to go into melee against the, uh, <coughs> against the uh, HQ building, the field command for, of the Pure Guard player. And yep, his many of his troops are going to get decimated, so yeah, rather unfortunate that he wasn't at least a tier 3. He could use the uh, fanaticism ability on the priest to. Uh, well, I suppose, delay both players, but yeah, would have gotten crashed inevitably, so. Yeah, an interesting game indeed by uh, drunk players, apparently, so. Yeah, hopefully we should be uh, seeing this video uploaded a bit later on tonight, and until that happens, this has been uh, Damien Tudovich, signing off.